welcome back to the channel today i'm bringing you guys a video that i personally did not think i was ever going to be making <laughs> so let me show you guys what i am diving into and let's see if uh the cobra doesn't uh blow up so let's get into it so one thing that i so i guess let me, let me back it up for a second so the if you didn't know this is a blueprint crate motor straight from blueprint it's a ford 347 uh it's an oil pan to valve covers it doesn't come with an intake uh, you provide like the intake and everything that you already have and this is the this is what's going on now let me say this there's nothing wrong with this motor there was absolutely nothing wrong so what do you do with a motor that has a warranty runs good and doesn't give you any issues. Get you tear it apart, obviously. I mean, that's only that's the only logical thing to do. So I did it. <laughs> but you may be asking yourself, what uh what is going on here? Why is a motor that has maybe, I don't know, a couple thousand miles on it, not, no more than five? Uh, like, I mean, <laughs> I guess long story short, it's getting a cam. It is getting a cam, and some of you may be wondering well you have all of this apart why isn't the intake off and why isn't the throttle body off well <laughs> you guys will see here in a little bit what i'm going to try to do whether it's going to work or not we will see uh the, i'm filming this prior to parts showing up so i kind of i kind of prepared everything and everything's all lined up over there so we're i mean we'll we'll see what uh what comes about but essentially i wanted to make a little bit more power out of the blueprint that i have and when i called blueprint unfortunately they weren't really a lot of help now you can take that one of two ways you can either think well you know well what they told me was it was it's pretty maximized from the factory well if you ask any Ford or Chevy or Dodge manufacturer, people who built the motor, they will essentially tell you the same thing. It's optimized from the factory. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put, it, and put it in a cam. Like I said, I will drop the cam that I'm putting in below. So essentially, one thing that I noticed, now you can go to Blueprint's website and you will go under the crate motor and it will tell you all the dimensions of the motor. It's a 10 to 1 compression uh, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. I can't sit there and list off the cam card, but essentially if you know Ford alphabet cams, essentially the motor that is in this cam is an X cam. So, I mean, it's, it does the job. The one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is blueprint didn't custom make the cam for this. They custom, they pretty much custom made it for all of their Ford motors. So if you look at like their 306 for the Broncos or 302s, Actually, I don't know about the 302s. The, I know for sure the 306. They all use the same cam from the 306 to the 347, which I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, I wish that, I mean, I see a lot of people that have 347s, and I, I see them making 450, 475, maybe 500 if they are uh, ballsy enough to do so. But I just don't like that they're essentially just making a cam one for all. So we're going to put in, I think, I don't know the name of the cam, but it's a comp cam. So like I said, I will drop the cam that is going into it down below. And once it's capable to be driven, I will take it out and see if I can feel a see at the pants difference. The people that I spoke to at comp cams, they were super awesome. I, I was on the phone with them for, well, I waited on hold for like an hour, but you'll get that around Christmas time, which that's when I'm filming this. You'll, you'll obviously get that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I was on hold for like an hour, spoke to the guys for about, I don't know, I'd say 15 minutes. And like I said, I, I don't know a whole lot. I can't sit there and tell you cam specs and everything like that. I just... I just can't. I'm sorry. Uh, but like I said, it, the guys at Comp Cams told me that this cam should be a lot better. It should produce 
obviously it's hard to give a horsepower number, but they, the guy was pretty confident that it would be at, at minimum 20 horsepower. So like I said, we'll, we'll see what it does and I will keep you guys updated. But the one thing that I am kind of a fan of is, and like I said, this is exactly why I don't have the intake off. LMR sells, and like I said, <laughs> I don't know if I like this idea or not because it's kind of uh, it's kind of sketchy. But LMR sells these little things. It's a bolt, and it goes down into the uh, pushrod galley, and it has a magnet on it, and it goes down and it grabs the lifter, and then there's a wing nut on the top, and it pulls the lifter up to the point where the dog bone catches it and it holds it there. So the wing nut holds it there. So essentially you can pull all the lifters out on both sides. It comes with 16 of them and you, it pulls the lifters up so you can slide the cam out without having to remove the intake. Now, some people might say like, oh, well, I mean, it o it's only 16 bolts to pull off the intake and this and this. I mean, honestly, the, the bolts, or I guess the kit that pulls the lifters up, on LMR, uh, I actually bought the last ones, but uh, the one thing I didn't like about them, and I'm going to go in depth later on in this video about those, uh, the, the lifter holders, whatever you want to call them, uh, they're, I think it's called a quick or quick cam change, something, something along those lines, but uh, no, they're only, review now, the reviews on LMR were good reviews. So I guess we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see if I drop a lifter in the oil pan. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to be too happy, but the, the good thing about it is obviously there's a rag there, but if one does fall into the motor, I can hopefully grab, excuse me, grab, uh, grab it through the front of the oil pan. That'll be that. So hopefully, uh, Hopefully I can do that, but uh, I guess I guess we'll find out. But let me, I'm going to show you guys everything when it comes in. And like I said, I'll show you guys the tools, let you know if it works or not. I, I'll be a test pin, guinea pig or whatever. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know how that goes, but uh, I will see you guys in the morning. What's going on, everybody? It's the next morning. So the parts came from LMR. They were daylight, but that's, that's all right. I'm not in a big hurry. I can't drive the car anyway. It's December and they already salted the roads for some reason, even though it's almost 60 degrees out. But let me show you the cam quick change, whatever the heck it's called, tools that hold the lifters up. Let me show you those real quick and we will see how those work. <laughs> this is the part number for the tools. Tap it, tools. I... It's made by Anderson. So let me open the box. Let's see if I can do this one handed. All right, these are what they look like. All right, pretty strong magnet. So the idea behind this is this part magnetizes to the lifter and pulls it up. So let me, I think there might already be one in here. Yep. All right, so let me uh, go over the mower and show you how it works. So, like I said, the idea behind it is to just grab the lifter, pull it up. So, let me, let me see down. And obviously, you can't see the lifter, so it's, you're kind of guessing in a sense. But, so, like I said, oh, it's pretty strong. So, you stick it down in the galley. Okay. And the lifter comes up, just like that. I can feel, I can feel it grabbing, and it stays up. But like I said, the wing nut is to go down. I don't really know. I wish that there was a washer on here so that it could go against these two parts. But I, I guess it just goes until it stops, which I guess we'll see how that works. But I mean, it's kind of nice too, since it's in the galley, like in the motor, it, uh, it grabs and it kind of goes up against the uh, dog bone and it stays there. So... I guess uh, let me put all 16 in, pull off the cam gear and sprocket, and see if uh, <laughs> see if the cam comes out without having to pull the intake. One thing that I did I did kind of learn. So the wing nut will get put between here and here. Uh, 
<laughs> if you move <laughs> if you move them the wing nut like kind of like the the whole thing kind of like moves so hopefully when i'm pulling the cam out it doesn't nick any of the lifters and like move these i mean they're pretty sturdy i haven't kind of i would say as tight as they can be without uh undoing the magnet from the lifter but uh yeah that's that is how they will look man i gotta i gotta clean it but uh yeah all right now let me uh let me pull that off and i will get a video of me pulling the shaft out oh i'm about to undo the last two bolts that hold the cam into the motor I've spun the cam and it spins freely. I don't feel any like play in like meaning as in like I don't feel any of the lifters on the cam. So theoretically undo these two. I'll stick a screwdriver in the cam to give me leverage to pull it out and it should be ready to come out. Trusty screwdriver. Set that on the apron. Undo these two bolts quick. Set the thrust plate over here. And now the cam should be ready to come out. So let me, let me try to. Oh. And when you're pulling it out, don't make make sure that the cam doesn't go up against all the uh cam bearings otherwise uh if you nick one of those you might be in for a bad bad time so let me just make sure i got a good grip I don't think I need the screwdriver quite yet. And just like that, cam is out. Lifters are still in it, and my hands are very oily, so let me uh, let me clean up. This is the old cam that came out of the Blueprint 347. This is the cam that is going in. It's comp cams. Here is the part number and everything for you. So now, let me see on how the box opens. And there it is. So take out well this is the actual cam card so if you want to get a good look at that pause the video do whatever but uh that is the exact cam that is going into it so let me pull this other thumper out let me drop the box there's the pin <laughs> they threw the pin in the box instead of in the bag with cam but uh I guess they probably do that so it uh, doesn't flop around and mar up the cam. But uh, yeah, let me uh, let me get the cam out, and uh, you guys won't really be able to see like a comparison. I mean, it's not like a eye to eye different. Like you can't notice it just by looking at the two. Obviously, the numbers will speak for each cam. But uh, yeah, but I will uh, unwrap this. I will lube it up and uh, put it in. And that, uh, that will be it. The cam is in. The lifter holders did a fantastic job. They didn't, none, no lifters got dropped into the oil pan. Thank God. Thank God. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't really film me putting it back in just because you could watch any small block forward cam installation. There's a hundred of them on YouTube, but, uh, yeah, but like I said, there were no videos on the lifter holders. I was essentially a guinea pig for the YouTube purpose, so I I would definitely recommend those. They, like I said, they're from Anderson. The part number I will drop in the description below. But yeah, now it uh, now it all goes back together. So let me uh, 
see how far I get and uh, give you guys an update. It is all back together. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at uh, filming while working. And once I start, I don't like to have any interruptions in my work process. But it is all back together. The one thing that uh, is nice is I don't have an AC compressor or anything like that. So it's just standard uh, alternator and power steering pump. But as you can see, it's all back together. We're going to do a first start right now. And uh, hopefully... Uh, doesn't blow up that uh that would be very nice now if it does uh in fact blow up i am uh i'm gonna cry a little bit so i guess uh we will see how it goes uh, i did double check everything hopefully uh everything is uh good i made sure everything was tight so i will put the key in prime it and start it I gotta scream because it's uh it's dumped and it's kind of loud but uh it's it's running good it hasn't given me any issues yet i don't see anything leaking down there i got the funnel on it to get all the air bubbles out it's uh it's don't mind the vibration it's uh it's that piece right there it's uh it's chopping pretty good and everything on the holly is, uh, is doing good. Got good oil pressure, everything like that. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's running pretty good. I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to drive it as of right now, unfortunately. But uh, it's it's doing pretty good so far. So far, so good. But uh, yeah, let me uh, shut the car off and give you guys a final review. We're back, and I am extremely happy with how this whole thing went i am uh i am mind blown that uh it went together all that smoothly now i haven't driven it <laughs> so we'll see it we'll see how that goes in, in the spring maybe i'll have to look around here see if they salted the roads by where i'm at and if they didn't it's going to be kind of hard because it needs an alignment because i put 94 95 spindles on it to uh to get the angle right for the wheels so i'd be driving it on kind of tires that could be facing one way or another and it, it could drive like crap and uh harm me and the car so uh i don't know about that but uh yeah i'm i'm extremely extremely grateful i did not have to take off the intake those uh whatever i we'll, we'll call them lifter holders <laughs> The lifter holders did their job, made, made sure I didn't have to take off the sniper on the top and, and the intake and everything like that. That saves me quite a bit of time. And like I said, some people might say, well, it's only 16 bolts, just take off the intake. Eh, no. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, it chops a lot harder than the cam that was in it. And uh, it's, like I said, I'm, I'm extremely happy with it guys at comp cams thinks it should make decent decently uh, a little bit more power so that's gonna be it for this video guys and like i said if you guys think of anything that you guys want me to showcase you know anything on the car or capri or whatever i can uh, i can do that for you guys but until then take care guys and have a great day